Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 30th of August comes to you from London. And the dollar is making quite a strong recovery uh, yesterday and this morning. Uh, so just political risks seem to be receding a little bit. Quite a big relief rally there. But interestingly, we did actually uh, close below this uh, key level. And so support is really just being tested very heavily here. <clears throat> we need to get back above the cloud. But that this really probably still does qualify as a lower low for the dollar, so um, it's not that good. Um, the euro is looking strong still, bullish above the cloud, um, making multi-year highs here against the dollar. So looking very, very strong, was touching that 120 level yesterday. Uh, looking at Japanese yen, the dollar's recovered here strongly as well this morning. So we are just seeing relief uh, for the dollar across the board. And sterling actually just pulling back, having risen quite strongly against the dollar uh, yesterday. Of course, sterling against the euro um, has been quite bearish, and we're seeing that uh, downtrend, that 104.90 target is still looking very doable. And Swiss franc, we're seeing sterling just recovering a bit here as well, but still looking pretty bearish. And against the Australian dollar, back into bearish territory here, making new multi-month lows. Uh, so that's also looking um, worrying for sterling against the Australian dollar. This is as much about Australian dollar strength, really. Um, S&P 500 index <coughs> was fairly flat yesterday, did um, recover at the end of the day, as did the NASDAQ. Um, opened lower, but actually recovered quite a bit. So NASDAQ looking better as well. And the Dow not quite yet into bullish territory, but looking a bit better too. The Russell 2000 even, um, which has been more worrying with the medium term below the chart, has actually recovered quite strongly. We've got an upside target of about 4%. So US equities seem to be trading off the lows. Looking at uh, S&P future, it's up a quarter of a percent this morning, and the Nasdaq e mini up a third of a percent, so it does suggest that US markets will open higher. Looking at the FTSE 100, um, we are still just bearish below the cloud, but recovering this morning a little bit, but uh, not looking anywhere near as good as the US indices. The FTSE 250 is also looking bearish short term. The DAX um, really fell away strongly the last few days. Bit of a relief rally this morning, but the medium term chart is bearish. That strong euro weighing heavily on European equities. The Nikkei 2000 also Sorry, the Nikkei 225 also just uh, heading lower. And the Hang Seng actually looking pretty strong. So the Chinese market looking good. Um, and the Shanghai Composite paused for breath the last few days, but actually looking pretty good. The uh, Sensex um, is the Indian market looking quite good, trading off its lows. And the Australian market is actually lower on that stronger Aussie dollar, but really stuck in that 5758 five, area. We're at 5, we're at five six, uh, 70 at the moment, but uh, it's not quite falling through that support level. <clears throat> Brent crude, um, with everything that's been happening in Houston, and our thoughts and prayers are still with uh, all our clients in Houston. Uh, it's amazing that the US dollar, um, sorry, the uh, crude price has not really... Um, moved strongly um, given the impact on potential production there. But uh, interestingly, Brent crew is bearish below the chart. Um, we've got um, short term bearish, we've got mixed targets, but still downward pressure. Long term, medium term upside targets, but it's, it's crude is coming under pressure. WTI, even more surprisingly, is falling away quite heavily as well. <coughs> US NAC gas sitting in the high 290s. Copper continues to run higher and heating oil has actually moved quite strongly um, so this is one um, product that is moving quite strongly on that uh, on those events going straight to gold the gold price really moved strongly yesterday it's pulled back quite a bit this morning but we do have a new upside target now off that short-term thrust of eight percent upside to 1440 we'll get a new thrust target off here and off here as well so um, gold still looking pretty good even though it's just pulled back a little bit in the last 24 hours Silver, much the same picture as we would expect. Uh, U.S. Treasury yield sitting at 2.14%, come off the bottom a little bit there. And looking at tech, Apple actually still looking pretty strong. Google um, recovering somewhat yesterday. Amazon still below the cloud, looking a little bit worrying. Facebook uh, shares were up fairly strongly yesterday, but still in the doldrums below the cloud. And Microsoft looking a little bit better as well. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.